For the past few weeks, people have asked me to make a video about the Mass Effect 3 ending, and um, there's, I've avoided it because there's no easy way to do this. Um, uh, by the end of this video, I promise you, I'm going to piss off people at EA, I'm going to piss off the people at Bioware, I'm going to piss off a good number of my fans. And I knew that going into it, but I want to just say what's on my mind and, and tell you my honest-to-God opinion, and I'm going to do it spoiler-free, for the most part, okay? Um, let's address the major complaints about the Mass Effect 3 ending first. Number one, people feel that Mass Effect 3 is a series in which you get to make a lot of choices. The choices that you make affect the world. And unfortunately, the choices you make have little to no effect on the ending. People, I think, were expecting different avenues for the ending, and what they got was one very narrow avenue with very small little deviations. Basically, the same 10-minute ending no matter what you did with a few small, minute changes based on choices you've made in the game. Which is frustrating for a lot of people. That said, if you watch the ending, um, nothing happy happens for the most part. It's not a good ending for anyone involved, not for the players, not for the characters. Everyone walks away feeling disheartened and a little upset. And, and the last ten minutes of that game are hard to watch. And I say watch because I didn't play the game. I knew for a fact that when Mass Effect 3 came out, I was going to wait to play it. I knew for a fact I was going to wait to purchase it. And the reason I did that is because I knew that there was day one DLC. I knew that Bioware had disappointed us lately. I know that there were some things going on with that company that had been a little shady. And I chose to wait. So I find out that the ending is bad before I've ever even seen it. I actually decided to watch the endings uh, so that uh, I, I could know what they were so that I could discuss it intelligently and carefully here. Now, a lot of people are very, very upset. And they're, they're trying their best to make sure. There's only two courses of action here. Number one, the first course of action is to make sure you know that the people who made the game know that you're dissatisfied with it. And let them know that you don't like the ending, you don't like the choices they made, you don't like what they've done, and people are doing an excellent job of that. If you go to Reddit, if you go to Kotaku, if you go to anywhere video game related, people are complaining loudly and, and making sure, and they're writing the company, and they're writing the people who created the game, and they're letting them know. And there's even a group out there who's created a petition that is gathering money for Child's Play, my favorite charity, by the way, kudos for that. Um, to try to get them to add DLC that will add multiple endings. And this is a pretty good course of action because everybody wins with that. Okay? They add DLC, the people purchase it, people get to work, people get to write, people get to download, people get to earn money, and fans get what they want. Great, great course of action. And a lot of people are saying, well, players feel entitled. You know, you're damn right we feel entitled. Uh, of course I feel entitled. Anytime I walk into, a, if I walk into a, a restaurant, I'm going to use a food analogy because people like when I use a food analogy. Um, if I walk into a restaurant and I lay $60 down and I say, hey, here's my $60, I want a steak. And what you serve me is chuck round instead of a filet mignon. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to be pretty pissed. Okay. $60 is a lot of money in this day and age. It's even more when you buy it in Australia. It's even more when you buy it outside of the country. But that's a lot of money, man. And of course I feel entitled to get what I paid for. Okay? And maybe, maybe well, you got an ending. That's what you paid for. Yeah, but it tasted like shit. If I order that filet mignon, and I get filet mignon, but it's burnt or it's charred or it's undercooked or you do it wrong, of course I feel entitled to my money's worth. Why wouldn't I? Now, the, uh, IGN took my video uh, complaining about Mass Effect's DLC, and they shoved it in uh, their video. I didn't really appreciate that, because I'm not the biggest fan of IGN. I, I, I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. I just don't necessarily want them profiting from my hard work. But that's fine. That's fine. They did it. They used DMCA fair use laws to use a small clip. And that's, that's fine. You guys enjoy that. That's my gift to you. Okay? <clears throat> But that said, their video went on to say the players feel entitled. They feel entitled to a better ending. They feel entitled to no DLC. They feel entitled to no extras. They feel entitled to not have to pay for things that are on the disc. We feel, yes, we feel entitled. And I'm okay with feeling entitled. Because it's my money. 
And I, I, I have a kind of a cushy job here at YouTube. But there's been a time where I didn't have a cushy job. I was washing dishes in a Mexican restaurant. Okay, there was time I was, I was working security uh, and having to sit at the desk and deal with customers all day. And I was earning minimum wage for those jobs. When I was earning minimum wage, you're damn right $60 is a lot of money. Right now, $60 is a little less money to me. Still a lot. Still a lot. I, I don't have to throw around and I don't. But most of my fans and most of my friends and most of the people I know who played the game, they don't have $60 to throw away. So I digress. The point is, yeah, we feel entitled. We feel entitled to get what we paid for. And if we don't like your ending and we don't like what you've done with it, you have to understand that. You have to, and I don't want you making endings based on focal groups. Okay, I don't want you trying to figure out what the best ending would be. I'm all for controversial endings. I'm a Stephen King fan, for God's sakes. Okay, I'm used to that guy ending books like a crazy person all the time. I walked out of movies that I didn't like the ending of and went, eh, it was still pretty good. The last 10 minutes sucked. You know, and I could have walked away from Mass Effect feeling the same way. But the reality of it is, not everyone has that capacity. Not everybody feels that way. Not everybody is used to it. And I don't want you designing just the happy ending. I didn't necessarily need to see uh, Shepard walking down an aisle with his friends and family standing next to him applauding as fucking Chewbacca hangs a medal. And I didn't need that. Okay, I didn't need the Star Wars Return of the Jedi ending, but I would have liked to see something a little more uplifting. Or I would have liked to have seen options for an uplifting ending. And that said, that said, I, I, I believe that I still support Bioware. I still support EA. They have created some of the best games I've ever played in my life. So, of course, I support them. Why wouldn't I? Uh, but they're screwing up lately. And, and you, don't, you don't have to, if you live under a rock, you have to know that they're making some pretty big mistakes. This is one of the biggest ones. Now, I have some friends over at those organizations. I'm going to say hi to you now. I mean, I'm sorry. But the reality of it is you need to fix this shit because your reputation is, is being not just because of Mass Effect 3 and not just because of D1 DLC and not just because you outsource your, your, your um, customer support to non-English speaking people and, and not just because, but all of these things, man, all of these things, this is an opportunity for you to fix something for us to make things look right, to make things feel right. And I know people are being entitled, douchebaggy, they're rude, they're slamming, they're just being awful people, okay? And and gamers can be awful people. We can just be just terrible, terrible, terrible shitty people. A lot of us can be just like Francis. But there's a point to be made here. The point is that this shit needs to get fixed. And whatever's going on in Bioware, you guys need to straighten it out. Because you're one of the best gaming companies in the world, or at least you used to be, and I'd like to see you be that way again. I'd like Dragon Age to be phenomenal. I'd like to see uh, Mass Effect 4 take place somewhere in the world. I'd like for it to be phenomenal. I'd like to have it end well. I'd like to see people plotting you for the products you make again, rather than slamming you for it. <sighs> that said, I hope I didn't piss off too many people. Uh, I promise you that Rage video is coming soon. I just got to write a really good hook for it. Um, talk to you soon.